In this video, we'll go over the answer to question 17 of the 2021 New South Wales HSC chemistry exam. The question states, a sample was contaminated with sodium phosphate. The sample was dissolved in water and added to an excess of acidified ammonium molybdate to produce a precipitate of ammonium phosphomolybdate, molar mass equal to 1,877 grams per mole. If 24.21 grams of dry ammonium phosphomolybdate was obtained, what was the mass of sodium phosphate in the original sample? This is followed by options ranging from 1.225 grams to 2.115 grams as options A through D. To answer this question, we need to realize that the precipitate contains all the phosphate from the original sample. So to calculate the number of moles of the precipitate, we use the formula N is equal to mass on molar mass. Based on the data in the question, this will be 24.21 grams divided by 1,877 grams per mole, which gives us 0 0.01290 moles. Now, the chemical formula for sodium phosphate is Na3PO4, as the phosphate ion has a charge of negative three, while the sodium has a charge of plus one. Comparing this formula with that of the precipitate, the ratio of phosphate in the precipitate to phosphate in the sodium phosphate is one to one. Therefore, the number of moles of sodium phosphate is also equal to 0 0.01290 moles. Using that, we can calculate the mass of the sodium phosphate using mass is equal to the number of moles times by the molar mass. We just need to calculate the molar mass of the sodium phosphate, which we'll do on the side here. Adding the mass of each atom, we get 163.94 grams per mole. Now, plugging in our values into the formula for the mass, we get 2.115 grams. Therefore, option D is the answer. To help better understand our reasoning on the previous slide, we can visualize what happened. So, we have our sample that contains some amount of sodium phosphate contaminant, which we've indicated here as little blue dots. This sample was dissolved in water, which we'll show here in this beaker. As we are only interested in the contaminant, let's ignore the ions of the sample itself. Now, the question states that our solution was added to excess acidified ammonium molybdate. Let's bring that in and then add our solution to it. The ions can now all interact and the ammonium phosphate and molybdate ions can join to form a precipitate. We don't have enough space to show the correct number of ions joining together here, but we can have the actual chemical formula on the side. The question states that we have an excess of the ammonium and the molybdate ions. Therefore, we assume all the phosphate ions from our solution end up in the solid precipitate. This is the precipitate that was the starting point for our calculation on the previous slide. For this video, the following references were used. Blackman et al. have questions on chemical equations, yield, and stoichiometry that can be used as practice for these types of problems. They are similar, but not exactly like this particular question, however. The second resource was a website I used to verify the name of the solid precipitate, as the question only states its chemical formula. You would not need this to answer the question, though. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.